Good evening. Uh, I hope to keep this lighthearted. Um, feeling, uh, I've been a bit depressed, but I've had several nice chats today, and um, I'm about to talk about a recurring theme in those chats about craziness. <clears throat> but I'm feeling a little better because I received a couple of nice blessings today. <clears throat> Pardon me. You know, I've, I've done some pretty crazy things in life, you know, like play six football games on a knee with no ligaments and not take any drugs for it. My primary point in this video is to point out if that you think that there's you're absolutely normal and there's nothing wrong with you then you're probably already falling into that category of the two types of category that I see in humanity. You're either good crazy or you're bad crazy. It's really only two types. There's normal. Normal disappears into nothingness. There is no normal. You know, you're going to be on one side of the spectrum or the other. And this world is full of bad crazy people like politicians who will commit perjury under oath, you know, and not even they have no trouble falling asleep five minutes later, you know, right after having committed felony aggravated perjury. Now, I've actually run into quite a few cops like that. That's why my best friend is my best friend. But I think in total, at the end of my life, you'll see that I was one of the good crazy ones. I know I'm a crazy good comedian if you give me half a chance. And I just want to point out that I had some people that were from Houston. They weren't really local people. Who were able to do their mother and so on, move into my neighborhood. And they used to think that I was weird. And they used to talk about me because I do frequently like to dress in solid black. Nice, you know black moccasin, toe shoe, mock toe, you know, loaf, loafers, a nice pair of double or triple pleated slacks and a nice black silk shirt and black leather jacket. It's black's an elegant color, but they see it as all dark and stuff. While in reality, they're all criminals in that family and dress in bright colors to disguise their actual blackness, dark heartedness. That's my point is every member of that family was crazy. They had a, a, a history of amphetamine abuse going back 80 years. And they had a history that they will tell you about without even having it. That's just how crazy they are. And they think that I'm nuts. They will sit there and tell you and almost brag and smile about all their incest, their prostitution, their thievery, all sorts of other things. And yet they, to other people, were trying to portray me as the mysterious man in black in the neighborhood. So you think about it. And I want you to think about this. In the preaxial period, there were no morals. There was a whole different mindset. Before, you know, all you atheists that like to blame religion... Before religion, in the preaxial period, there was no moral code. You had no rights. You know, if I could uh, murder you and enslave your wife and children and take your olive grove and all that kind of stuff and your donkeys and stuff, people would go like, hey, that kid's a badass. I'd steer clear of him. And that's the way people used to think. We need these evolutionary leaps in thinking. And that's what religion brought to all you idiots that think that you can go out there and do anything and freak around and mess around with kids. Because there are, there's huge factions in this country that are trying to promote uh, what was legal in France until recently, which was sex with children. You didn't know that, did you? It wasn't illegal, I think, until about a year ago 
to have sex with children in France. That's why Roman Polanski escaped to France after raping a 12 year old girl, drugging and raping a 12 year old girl. So I want you to think about it, especially all you atheists out there. You know, whose side are you on? And which are you going to be? Are you going to be bad crazy? Or are you going to be good crazy? And don't go giving those of us who are religious a hard time. Without us, you would have no rights. There would be actually no animal rights. In case you've never read the Bible, animal rights are right there, the first in the Bible. The first anti-slavery laws, you know, it was uh, against loaning, uh, borrowing money. You shall loan to other nations, but you shall not borrow. That was to prevent in uh, in and de uh, uh, what's the term? Uh, indentured servitude, a form of slavery. So, just keep thinking about it. You know, if you're a young person, or if you're old, you, maybe you need to change your ways. But just ask yourself: Are you good crazy, or are you bad crazy? Because that's the only two types of people on this planet. <laughs>